Like most engineers, vocal mixing was something that I struggled with a lot. It's different because it's not something like an instrument. If the EQ is off on a recording of like a saxophone, most people won't notice it because it's a saxophone. The average person doesn't listen to a saxophone every single day, unless you're like saxophone player, of course. <laughs> but because most people don't listen to a saxophone, most people won't notice a bad saxophone. You just simply don't know the difference between a good and a bad saxophone. But if something is off with the vocal mix, people will tell right away. We hear voices every single day of our lives. I highly doubt there's a day that you go without listening to a voice, let alone your own voice. So as human beings being programmed the way we are, we know what a voice is supposed to sound like. And when that sounds off, it's very noticeable. Unfortunately, a microphone doesn't capture the dynamicness of our voices like our ears would. So the reason why we mix is so that we could get our vocals to sound as close to real life as possible, or at least as close to comfortable. And I feel like I got pretty good at this, but there was always one thing that I and many beginners usually miss at the beginning of vocal mixing. That thing is DSing. What's up geniuses, my name's Adriel Vera, and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Today we're gonna be going over the basics of vocal DSing. Have you ever listened to somebody's voice in a recording and their S's and T's just freaking pierce your ears? You just hear a lot of S and T's every time they talk. It's like a needle, just your eardrums, you know? Depending on what you listen on, these sounds can be very apparent. And I know for a fact, when I'm listening through car speakers or through my headphones, if there is not good DSing, those T's and those S's will be so sharp that they'll hurt my ears. And there were times where I was like, I can't listen to the song, it hurts. If you don't already know what DSing does and I haven't given you enough context yet, DSing is basically just taking those S and T sounds that are super sharp in your recordings and lessening them so that it's a lot more appealing to listen to. Like I said, as us humans, if something sounds off in somebody's voice, we can tell. And when it comes to those S's and T sounds, if those are super sharp, that's gonna suck. We're not gonna wanna listen to that. So we DS our vocals to make the listening experience that much better for whoever's listening. So the way that I go about DSing in FL Studio is through two different methods. Basically with the first method, you use a multiband compressor to compress the high end frequencies. That way it does not pierce your ears that much. This uses FL Studio's stock multiband compressor plugin. So if you don't wanna get any sort of third party plugins, this is a great way to do it. However, the second method that I use all the time is using a third party VST called Spitfish. This DSer is super easy to use and it's really effective on getting those S and T sounds to sound less prominent. So without further ado, let's hop into FL Studio and show you how to use these two methods. So here we are in FL Studio and as you can see, we got a recording right here. You can see right here, this is our focal chain and what we got going on right here is a compressor and an EQ. The two things that I was talking about in the last two videos that I made, which if you haven't checked them out, feel free to click the eye icon up here, especially the compression video because you're gonna wanna know a little bit about compression when using the first method of DSing. So if we take a listen to what we got right now. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Very ear piercing, totally not on purpose. And as you can see in parentheses, I put DSer just so that you know it's a DSer. So basically what a multi-band compressor is, is you can think of it as three compressors. One compressor for the low end, one compressor for the mid, and one compressor for the highs. We're only gonna be focusing on compressing the highs because obviously we're trying to DS and those sent frequencies are all in the high end. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the multiband compressor. That way it's active. And if you don't have a multiband compressor, you go in here, replace, and then you select multiband compressor. This is how it's gonna look like in the default setting. But if we give it a listen, this is a test. It compresses everything just a little and we don't really want that. We only wanna be compressing the high end. So first thing I'm gonna do is bypass the low end and the mid because we don't want these compressors working at all. And then what I'm going to do is turn the filter type down to LP FIR because if I have it on this filter type, it's gonna sound more natural. For some reason, having it on here gives it a weird sound, which I can only explain by showing you. So if we turn down this ratio all the way so that no compressors are working right now, this is a test. You still get some weird compression sounds going on. However, if we put it on LP FIR, this is a test. 
it sounds more like the original. So this is why I said you're going to want to know a little bit about compression before going into this, which is exactly why I recommend checking out the compression video from the icon up above, because everything I talk about in that video is going to be translated to what we're doing right here. But if you already know a little bit about compression, you're going to be good. But don't worry, method number two, you don't really need to know about compression that much. So first thing I'm going to do is mute everything else and just keep the high band on so that we can only hear the high end frequencies. I'm also going to make sure that the ratio is all the way down so that we do not affect the high ends at all yet. And we're going to click play. So as you can hear, there is some high end, but you still hear a little bit of the mid frequencies. So in order to only isolate the highs, you want to move this knob around because this controls what the high band is compressing. So if we click play and move this around, this is a this is you can see what I'm talking about. So we only want the high end. So what you're going to do is you're going to listen through and make sure you only capture the high S's and T's. About there sounds good and now what you're going to want to do is bring the threshold down i'm going to bring it down about 13 decibels because as you can see right here this is going to be a good spot to compress all of those high ends so we're going to bring this down to about 13 decibels 14 is good and then we're going to bring the ratio up to about two to one because this is usually industry standard for vocal compression so now if we turn everything else on bypass this is a test already the high s's sound a lot less prominent so if you compare with the s'ing this is a test and without deessing this is a test you can see that without the deesser it sounds a lot more prominent if we wanted to adjust that even more we can bring the ratio up a lot more bring down the gain too and that way you hear less of those high ends this is a test and you could even go even higher if you wanted to this is a test so that's one way to DS with stock plugins in FL Studio. However, with method two, I prefer that way. It's a lot easier. And the plugin that you use, which is called Spitfish, is completely free. And I'll make sure to leave a link to that down in the description below. So I'm going to turn off the multiband compressor and then bring up Spitfish. So now you can see here we got three different knobs. The sense, depth, and tune. Sense is basically like the threshold that we were using earlier. It's the sensitivity. So at what point do you start cutting off? Depth is like the ratio. So basically how much of the S's and T's do you bring down? And then tune is the frequency that we're targeting to actually DS. So back here, you know how we're moving this around. This is basically that. Then right here is listen, which is basically like us muting everything else in the multiband compressor. And then bypass is to turn off the DSer if you don't want it to be on for whatever instance. You also got stereo here just in case you got stereo vocals if you're using any sort of doubling or things like that. And then here you can select soft to make the DSing a little less intense. So the easiest thing to really do is go to presets and bring up male voice hard because this kind of gives you a good general idea of where to start. If you're a female, you want to use female voice hard or soft, depending on if you want hard DSing or soft DSing. And from there, we click the listen button, have a listen to it and adjust accordingly. This is a test. So you can still hear a little bit of the mid. So we want to bring down the sense a bit more. This is a test. Now we only hear the S's and T's. And then next, what we're going to do is bring the depth up a little more. So if we uncheck listen and click play, this is a test. This is a test. This is a test. It did a pretty good job on DSing my vocals. If you wanted to soften it a bit, you can put the soft on this, but it's up to you. And if that sounds too intense to you, you can always bring down the depth. This is a test so spitfish is a super good deesser it's free like i said so you don't even have to spend any money and it's just a couple extra steps to get that installed into your fl studio i highly recommend going with spitfish the multiband compressor isn't bad it's just it takes a little bit more time spitfish makes it so much easier and it just sounds better in my opinion so if you don't already use spitfish feel free to check it out in the description however hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about dsing and how to make your vocals sound better in general if you want to learn more about the basics of vocal mixing feel free to check the eye icon up above and if you want to talk more about fl studio or production or marketing in general feel free to join the discord down below where you can talk to me and the rest of the community i love chatting with you guys it's super fun so feel free to come join us keep making dope music stay safe out there most importantly don't be afraid to show your genius. Mm -hmm.